Hello, welcome or welcome back to Gwinspire Crochet. This is Ashley and today we are doing Things We're Making Thursday. That's right, it's Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, yeah. And uh, part of my appearance, I just want to let you know, it is a 90 degrees outside here and I am melting and I look like it. So I'm sorry about this. I mean, does it even look that good to begin with? So, um, let's talk about the pattern. As you know, it is June 1st, uh, and at the beginning of each month, the Things We're Making Thursday group starts a new free pattern that is available online. And, um, if you don't know what Things We're Making Thursday is, it is a collaboration with multiple people like on YouTube and not on YouTube who come together work on the same project together it's like a crochet along and uh, each month we do a different one a different free pattern and we work on it we talk about it in the Facebook group because yes there is a Facebook group and uh, we work on the project together talk about it, the highs the lows and the in-betweens uh, uh, down below I will list a list of all of the hopefully current members uh who do have youtube channels so definitely check them out below and see how their projects are coming out so for june we are doing the lily sugar and cream rainbow hexagon beach bag it looks like this beautiful and so i went and wanted to choose colors and i thought oh i'm being so original with these colors well, not really. I wasn't as original as I thought it was going to be. Because I didn't really want to go to the store and buy new yarn. So I tried my very best to come up with a color palette that I liked uh, without doing that. And I did. With an asterisk. Because, well, we'll get there. Alright, so the colors I chose are... This is all, um, I love this cotton. I don't have the ball band for this. This is probably, so this is the oh, terracotta maybe? So this will be one color. There are six colors in this pattern, so it's quite heavy on the colorage. Then we are using this one. And that one is curry. The next one is ivory. Beautiful. And then the next color I'm using. Oh, this is this is not I love this cotton. This I believe is actually Pima Suprema. This one. Um, this might be marmalade. One of these is Prima Suprema, and it is marmalade, and it might be this one. See, Pima and Suprema, and I love this cotton, look very similar. And then this one, which I believe is Aqua. Now, I tried to center pull this, and instead I just destroyed it. Now it looks awful, and I'm going to have to um, wind it now. Because uh, I couldn't get the, the, the center pull out. And white... And what's this? Aqua. Aqua. And then the last color is going to be dark denim. Now, I actually wanted to do a different color, which I did not bring in here with me, but it was the um, French navy, I believe it was, and it was Pima Suprema. And it is a much, it's a lighter blue than this, and it's just a, it's a better blue. And uh, I was working on it, and then I'm like, oh no. I only have one skein of that because it was discontinued from Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, no. And that was too long. Uh, and I um, was very sad, so I had to go to the store. Yep. Had to go buy yarn. Luckily, it was the 30% off sale at Hobby Lobby. So that was a good 
thing for me so I ended up buying a bunch more yarn more than just the two skeins of the blue I needed so I ended up going with the navy blue or the navy denim it is called now it is not the same blue it is darker but um let me show you all the colors together just so you get an idea this is the color selection I chose whoop so all those together and I did get a chance to start with the first motif and this is how it's going to come out Ta -da. yes so as you see the navy blue will be the outside and the main color of the bag now I wanted as originally thinking I was going to do the white, but I decided against it because if the white was going to be the handle of the bag, it would just get dirty and grimy too quickly. So I decided to go with the darker color. And I'm like, oh wait, I'm not being original at all. This is essentially the exact same colors as what's in the bag. Look at that. Not original, except like a little bit different. Um, like the hues and the and everything are a little different and like the aqua is not the main base color but it is essentially the same thing but maybe a little bit more like if this were like, like tropical this is more like giving me sunset vibes or like sunrise vibes and I kind of like to tell like oh and I'm like crocheting this and I'm like oh it's kind of like it's like the sun in the sky there's like the sun here and then you've got the sky and this blue and then the white is the clouds and then the blue you know like the, when you get up to space like it towards like the the atmosphere it starts getting darker blue and I'm like it's just it's just the sky isn't it beautiful guys I'm tired but I wanted to share with you what my progress was what this is gonna look like for some reason I thought this looked it looks prettier in person than it does on the screen here uh, but hopefully everything will come together I did not use any kind of like video tutorial because I know there is a video tutorial around there somewhere for this uh, I just sort of tried my hardest based on what the pattern said and I think it's right I think it's I think it's accurate it's close enough one thing I will say that's going to be very annoying about this project is all of the ends that you have to weave in. Each color obviously is a color change, which means two ends per color that you have to weave in. So I'm realizing um, that I'm going to at least have to crochet in as I go, uh, at least the starting end, so that it doesn't drive me nuts because I have to do 15 of these. And that is not going to be a good time. Didn't think you were going to get double the singing, did you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, I am going to finish this up. I'm going to lay down in the cool, cool fan breeze and just relax and probably fall asleep. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful Thursday. You guys will be seeing crochet wrap up on Saturdays from now on because I feel like this they need to breathe. I need to let uh, things we're making Thursday breathe a little bit. So crochet wrap up, see you on Saturday for that video. All right, guys, uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you, what is this feel? If you like this video, give it a like. If you like seeing my face, give it a nice little subscribe so you can see me all the time. Comment if you want, say hello. And um, also hit the bell button because I am terribly inconsistent in not just YouTube, but in life. So you want to know when this face is on YouTube, a new video, so you can watch me um, for whatever reason. Uh, hit the bell. You can say hi. Hang out. Enjoy our time together. All right. This heat is making me nuts. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Thank you.